build. But, you know, that was just my reality. And it wasn't always, I wasn't always in, um, what's the word? Uh, you know, they weren't always correlating really well. They weren't living in tandem. You know, if you actually think about it as a masculine and feminine energies, um, so let's say these, the masculine energy is one of logic and one of, you know, um, making up goals and things like that. And then you have this feminine energy that's always in this flow and has the emotion and has the, you know, the instincts and, and the desires. And these exist in both men and women. And once they're actually working together in harmony or in balance, then we have this creativity, we become artistic, you know, we write poetry, we make music, we, we let our emotions out and, and then, and we feel the surge of energy. But when they're not in flow, you feel stuck, you know, like I used to feel like I'd go to work, I'd come back, you know, whether I was married or not married, didn't really make a difference. It was just that I felt stuck sometimes and I didn't know how to get out of it. But when I actually started saying yes to my desire, saying yes to adventure, you know, saying not thinking too much about, you know, the future or just being in the present, being in the now, really feeling within my body and and he- listening to it and following it. That's when a new reality started to emerge from myself. And, and I became exposed to other people that were telling me that this is the truth, that, that we're actually remembering who we really are. I actually became more authentic, you know, and, and what does that mean? I was, I was really comfortable with myself. I wasn't putting on an act anymore. And, you know, for many, many years throughout my life, that's what I was doing, whether I was married or, you know, whether I was, you know, living with somebody for a long time or not, there was still a little bit of an act because, you know, all of myself, I never gave to anyone until I decided to really be authentic, decided to say whatever I thought, whether, you know, and, and, you know, to be honest, I I don't want to hurt anybody, but, you know, really being honest with people in, in a way that, um, serves me and serves them, you know, not to be mean, but to, to be truthful. Um, and I, I think there is a difference, you know, because when you're really honest with yourself, when you're really authentic with yourself then you can really be authentic with another person and they will appreciate your honesty and they will value you for it. So I feel like all of this is part of a remembering of who we are. Um, you know, I was been uh, I've been listening to a, a lot of uh, personal development videos recently, and um, you know, and, and they've been saying the ones that I've been listening into anyway have been talking about you know limiting beliefs and where do our beliefs come from that you know we can't you know, we can't create our own business about what we really love doing because we need to pay the bills. Now, who told you that? You know, yeah, it's, it's going to be scary. Yeah, it may, you may not know where your next uh, paycheck is going to be coming from. But if you believe, if your body is telling you and your heart is saying, I'm unhappy with this job. And no matter how many hours I work, no matter how many, no matter how many years I'm in it, I never feel like I'm getting ahead. I feel like I'm stuck in a really bad movie. Well, if you feel like you're stuck in a bad movie, then I invite you to think that possibly that is a limiting belief that you can't leave your job or you can't leave a relationship that isn't serving you anymore and that you may be too afraid to tell your partner that this isn't working for you because you know what? They may be feeling the same way too. And it takes that honest, vulnerable conversation to get either get you guys to the next level or to possibly separate for a while and really find yourselves to find the, the real connection that you've been so you've been much. craving. It's taking these really, um, these, these bold moves, these brave moves that your body is telling you, that your heart is telling you to do to really live this limitless life. Um, you know, I, I, uh, I invite you to, uh, to get more deep with me on these topics by uh, going to my Facebook page. It's at uh, wildridersheal.com. 
um, I, I really invite you to actually book a call with me. Click on book on my page and schedule a, um, a 30 minute discovery call and, and we can really get into your specific issue because I think that this is so important that, um, you know, this can change your life in such a tremendous, amazing way. And it's, it's not a short journey. It, you know, it, it takes time. It takes coaching. But um, I really believe that there is so much, so much um, richness that everyone has within themselves that it's, it's just truly amazing. We all have these unique gifts that we're meant to share in the world. And there really is enough money for all of us to be completely abundant, not only financially, but also um, in a, it, with our relationships, with our children, with our partners, with uh, with our animals. You know, any desire you have dreaming to, about traveling the world, everything is truly possible. But it's up to us to, to listen to ourselves, to listen to those divine uh, voices, th- those dreams that we have sometimes before waking in the morning that we remember of a beautiful time. It's really all there. Um, I wanted to also share a piece of poetry with you, actually, that I wrote some time ago. It's called um, Remembrance. I actually wrote it last year. I thought I had loved before though I never felt so joyful and burgeoning with possibilities. I realized that only when I truly loved and accepted myself, my heart expanded like the earth soaking in the nourishment after a torrential rain. My heart opened up like a flower and remembered a love so pure like the water flowing from a hot spring, a love so deep as the darkness near the ocean floor. For as we shed cloaks that were holding us back, we danced magically, seeing each other. Our hearts were finally free from our minds to feel the love that was reserved for each other. And I do truly believe that, you know, once we take off all of our uh, societal constraints, these thoughts about what we're supposed to do and who we're supposed to be with, then we open ourselves yeah. up to yeah. truly yeah. connecting yeah. with yeah. another person's energy yeah. 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 or another yeah. energy yeah. that truly yeah. gels yeah. with us. Yeah. And once we allow yeah. ourselves yeah. to really yeah. feel yeah. into yeah. that yeah. and really fully experience it in the now, it becomes something divine, something truly sacred. Um, I also have a few more things I'd like to share with you uh, in terms of writing that I thought could, have, could um, interest you to, to get more into this concept. Um, working, you know, part of my journey of expressing my desires were a few things that I'd like to who used to smoke opium? I think tell you about that possibly you would uh, feel comfortable doing. Now, I'm sure it was there were times when Sherlock, either yeah, I Sherlock was okay. with a lover okay. or was I was um, yearning oh, yeah. for, for something better well. than what I had. And and so and the ways that I would uh, go about feeling into this was I would um, self-pleasure, you know, and in any way that you feel really uh, comfortable doing, and you know, like, a man or woman. And self-pleasure yeah, yeah. could be multiple ways. It doesn't have to just be, you know, sexually, but it could also be, you know, for taking a really um, luxurious bath with rose petals and oils and candles, you know, really to give yourself a lot of self-care and self-nurture, you know, give yourself a lot of love. Because as I mentioned in my previous um, previous podcast, a lot of what we desire is what we need to give ourselves. Truly loving ourselves is remembering who we are. We are these sacred divine beings that need to be treated as such. And that means having time to give to ourselves, to be in nature, if that's what we love. Or to have quiet time from our children if we have them. Or to take ourselves away from our friends 
uh, when we spend a lot of time uh, with them, opium. to really just be alone, like we what we talked about earlier in uh, the first quote by Osho. <clears throat> so I'd invite you to, to take a bath or to have uh, a long shower with some um, some really nice, you know, organic if possible uh, soap. And then when you get out of your bath or shower, really to massage your entire body, you know, massage your breasts, massage your legs, massage your stomach, massage all the parts of yourself, you know, and, and don't worry. And in the mirror, if you can, if you have a long mirror in front of, in your room, um, to really, you know, love this beautiful body that you have. And, and, you know, we have all these concepts of what we're supposed to look like, but look at how beautiful we actually are. Look at how beautiful our arms and our hands and, and the strength that we have that we use them for. Um, I invite you to do that to really, when, when you're, the next time you're putting moisturizer or oil or if you're listening to me in the shower right now, um, you know, as you're getting out of it, Really just, you know, lovingly massage yourself with those oils or those uh, the cream, you know, your feet, your toes. It's really, it's really amazing that we can have this body, that it can take us place to place and we can carry things, that we can make love to someone, that we can use all these parts of our bodies, that we can make love to ourselves. It's just, it's an amazing feat of, uh, that's divine. So I invite you to get into that whole concept and really set the mood, you know, set, go into it with that purpose, with that intention. It's all about intention. You know, I want to just say one other thing before I get into my next exercise is um, this is a new moon. The new moon just occurred yesterday, you know, and I want to thank Rachel. The, her song reminded me um, of the new moon and, uh, it is a time of intention. It is a time of setting intentions. I'll tell you, my intention is to have abundance in all areas of my life it, with love, with money, with my family, with my animals, with nature, with, uh, with all aspects of myself, um, to really feel into that abundance, to allow it to permeate my existence and um, to really let go of my limiting beliefs. A part of that is also releasing something that you want to let go of. And I invite you to to really think about that, you know, and um, to just uh, intentionally write it down. Write down your intentions in your journal or uh, on a piece of paper. Keep it with you and focus on it. And also um, write down what you want to let go of. And you can even burn it or tear it up into small pieces of paper and throw it out, you know, because that is a form of releasing it. You want to release the old story so you can live in the new, live in this new intention that you're creating. So another exercise about you know, expressing your desire um, is for you to, um, you know, have some time alone, as I mentioned before, and write down your thoughts Write down how amazing you are and don't edit them. Let yourself write down whatever emerges and they can be full sentences, drawings, short one-liners, um, such as, and I give you an example here, luxuriously feeling the warm touch against my skin. Um, you can write anything erotic that comes to you. That's what you're in the mood for, especially after putting the oils on yourself. That would be perfect timing to um, to either if you have the ability to just sit oh, naked, nice. you know, without putting your clothes on and your kids are not coming in or you live alone. Um, just write when you're naked, like how beautiful that your body is, how wonderful the experience was putting the oils on you and how you felt. Because uh, this is this is your body. This is how amazing and unique you are. And um, and get completely turned on, you know, when you're writing this. And you could set a timer if you want, or you can write continuously for as long as you like. And um, and I would also encourage you to have like a special journal with this with an awesome pen <laughs> to create a sacred space when you're doing this. You know, light a candle, as I said, put some incense on. 
um, really get into this feeling, you know, really just be in love with you because whether you're looking for a partner 